Huh, something looks a little bit different down there. Uh-oh, time to say bye-bye to these and hello to these. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, beautiful Saturday off. I have uh, Saturdays off guiding this year, so happy to be able to spend some time at home and get some stuff done on a beautiful day. And today's project, we're gonna be installing some brand new steps on my Lund here. Uh, had another brand before uh, that I had on my last boat transferred over to this one, but got hooked up with Boat Effects, definitely the uh, one of the top brands for trailer steps on the market. So I'm gonna try and walk you guys through, start to finish as best I can uh, by myself, get these steps installed, tell you all about them. All right, well, let's get everything unboxed here. Um, you don't think that there's a lot of parts, but uh, there's some parts. So got the instructions, hopefully I won't need those. So one thing, cool feature on these steps, uh, can put step pads on the steps, so kind of like aqua traction. So obviously opted for those guys. We don't need those until the last minute though. And then this piece right here is very important uh, depending on the trailer that you've got because this is the spacer, which will bring the steps further out away from the trailer frame. And I was actually supposed to have these installed last week or the week before, um, but it didn't work because I needed this piece. So that's one to remember, especially if you've got a big deep V like this, you want those steps to be far enough away from the boat so when you're putting it on the trailer you don't ram right into your steps so get actual steps out here there's piece number one there's our steps in hindsight this probably wasn't the best idea maybe i should just put down a drop cloth i don't want to scuff them up okay set this guy right here Lots of stuff, hardware, the first spacer. So that one will attach to this piece right here. Keep hardware handy. Another nice feature, like you'll find on most steps, we've got the handrail that sticks up. Some sort of plate we're probably gonna need as well here. Pretty sure that's it. All right, we got our unbox. Let's try and figure out exactly what we're doing and if this is even possible by myself. All right, so I'll just try and give you a quick rundown real quick here, but basically on my trailer, so before the steps were mounted a little bit further back towards the spare tire here, but for this guy, we are gonna be mounting them right, let's see, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like this guy right there. And then the plate that I just showed you goes on the back side. So we'll get that piece at least bolted on and then just kind of go from there. I kind of have an idea of what they're supposed to look like. So we're just not gonna read the instructions like a real man. But yeah, we'll get this plate backed up to that first piece. Then we'll get the longer spacer on. I'll just kind of walk you through it. All right, so I goofed. We do not need both of these as far as I know. This is actually like the standard size, which uh, did not bring the steps out far enough away from my boat. We're not gonna add this to this. The longer one is just a longer spacer. So that one's gonna go on the front side, plate to the back. Let's get these lags out and uh, throw them in there. You're looking at the lowest grade production value possible for this video, but we're just making it work. All right, well, we got these kind of loosely on there. Uh, definitely gonna be a challenge to get up underneath here to get those nuts tightened down, but otherwise we can kind of just move this as freely as we need to, um, and then just kind of go from there. But at least we got this piece on, we'll get this stuff tightened down, and then we will uh, attach the steps, I'm assuming, I'm guessing. We got that guy on there, it's not going anywhere. Two bolts, two bolts, plate on the back, done deal. So we'll get the camera set back up and now I'll get ready to fit the steps. This is gonna be where I wish I had a second hand 
I don't know if I can do it by myself to get it fit up there and get the nuts through, get the bolts through. We're gonna find out. <sighs> okay. Well, we have room, thankfully. A little tight yet, but just gotta get them on, see how it works. Dude, how is this? How do you do this by yourself? Why did everyone leave me? Forgot the one key ingredient for jobs like this. Now we're maybe getting somewhere. Now that I can support these with my shoulder to get the bolts in the holes, bolts and holes. Wow, look at that, we did it. So now the key is gonna be, and I don't know if I'm gonna, I might have to wait for my buddy. Um, the key is going to be leveling this top step and then tightening those bolts down right there. Cause right now we're just kind of hanging, but you guys can see these are kind of on a sliding deal right here. And, but it does just help you adjust a little bit at a time. So I don't know, we'll see if I can get this done myself. We're just gonna wait for DJ. Well, okay, I was able to get one of these guys tightened down enough to get the steps level. So now I think that I can just continue tightening these guys down. So let's just continue. Continue with the most boring step install video you've ever seen. By God, we did it. Well, that was uh, less than fun, especially when you're by yourself. I know I keep complaining about that, but it did definitely suck, but we got everything bolted on and the stairs are still nice and level. So now what we can do is attach the handrail right there. That guy, that one should be pretty easy. So we're getting ready to uh, be just about finished here. Let's finish her up. Why does it never, never, ever fail that I'm missing one nut? Don't say anything. Well, stand by. I gotta find the sucker now. Crisis averted. We got it. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory on this guy here. Washers, 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 all the washers. Whoops. She's not going anywhere. Well, now we can kind of take a look at this thing in all of its glory. Now that we are all finished here, the last step that we've got to do now that everything's tightened down is just uh, clean off the steps and then get ready to put the uh, aqua traction step pads on. And that will be it. Step pads, these are all labeled A, B, B, and C. I feel like it's kind of pretty obvious which ones are which, but basically just a sticker. So we've got the steps all cleaned off, nice and dry. It's a nice warm day, so these are gonna adhere really nicely. But yeah, just a nice little finishing touch to add to the steps. Definitely an option I would recommend, but you can get them plain just like this, or like what I did for my dad's boat right before he passed, just had plain old grip tape on there, but I'm partial to the aqua traction.
number one. So the instructions do say, and I kind of feel like this goes without saying to walk up and down the steps when you're done. Help them get nice and stuck. Last one. That's a wrap. Looks pretty, pretty good, if I do say so myself. And that is the new steps for the 1875 Pro V. Well, we're all done, so that means we actually have to try them out. But one thing I will say, uh, ever since my last boat, I have always enjoyed having uh, steps on the trailer, not just for easy use, but for safety purposes. That's why I had a brand new set uh, put on my late father's boat. I know that this can be an investment, but uh, at this point, you're just kind of protecting yourself with this investment, but all steel construction, two-part uh, powder coat finish on the whole thing, fully customizable. Again, you can add the extra extension, angled extension handle at the top, uh, which I did see on the website does fit seven, uh, seven foot garage doors. Really like the customizable aspect. Uh, they are not all black. You guys can do just like you'll see um, in the screen recording that I did going through the website is so easy. I mean, it literally takes 30 seconds to decide uh, what options you want. And obviously the options are gonna add to the price, but so many different colors. You can do different colors for the step pads too. Um, um, you can make them as cheap or as expensive as you want. Again, it's an investment, but it's one that I think that you are definitely going to uh, be happy with. Boat Effects not only makes uh, trailer steps, makes a ton of graph accessories as well. So go to the website, check them out, price out your steps today. In the meantime, I'm just gonna continue walking up and down these guys right here, just because it's fun. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go to the Boat Effects website, pick out your new pair of steps. We'll see you on the next video.